Alright, um, I decided to do a video on, I'm going to review a phone. Um, I've had the Blackjack 2 for a while now, and it's a pretty good phone, so I'm going to review it, kind of take a look into it, and um, we'll see if any of you guys are looking on buy one. Maybe you can check out this video and it can help you out. So here's the phone. We have, boom, there's the beautiful Blackjack 2. We got the back. Alright, now let's start with the... Uh, um, with the look of the phone, this one, um, the Blackjack 2 comes in two colors. It comes in black and wine red. And this is wine red or maroon as another color. Um, if you notice the front, it's a very glossy finish. And then um, you look on the back here, and it's very flat. Um, I like that because it, it fits nice in the hand when you're trying to hold it. And um, um, it gives it a better sleek and feel. It's, it's pretty thin. Um, I wish I had other phones to uh, do a size comparison, but you know, I'm not, this isn't phone dog status, so this is pretty much just me kind of giving you guys a ghetto review. Um, first, uh, unlock the phone here. Um, if you notice, my background's kind of simple. I, um, there was, you know, the whole Windows Mobile 6, because that's what it's got on here, and it was all complicated and stuff, but Samsung, actually, the Blackjack 2, you have options to go in and kind of change your backgrounds and everything and make it a lot simpler. Well, we can, you know, hit the start thing. Everything is pretty, is, uh, you know, pretty, pretty good. Um, let's start with the external buttons here. We have the rocker switch. Um, this really actually isn't for volume. We'll, I'll explain that. Um, we have the micro USB port uh, and also head drives. If you, uh, I mean headphones. If you have the micro USB headphones, over here we have your, uh, we have your USB. I mean your micro USB card. You put it in there. Right now I have a two gigabyte in there and it runs fine, so that's pretty good. We have your two megapixel camera with a reflection screen, so you can kind of see yourself when you take a picture. Um, on the top, we have the power button that does a little cu couple other functions here. I'll just show you. If you hit the power button once, you can either have the option to power off, or you can go into the wireless manager. You can lock the screen, and you can actually switch it from like vibrate to loud, or um, whatever you want to do. Now, if we kind of start the phone here, if I kind of you know go into, if we take a look. Um, games, uh, which is, the phone's really cool, um, Tetris, actually, right here, is a game that I happen to, um, I downloaded on the phone, uh, this, this phone works a lot like, um, your computer or anything you would, or like maybe an iPod, you would update the applications, it has remove or add programs, um, you'd think it'd be pretty difficult to figure out, but if you just get online, you can, like, get a lot of videos, and they'll kind of show you what you need to do. That's kind of what I did, you know, just kind of Google, you know, Blackjack 2 or YouTube it, and you can actually find a lot of cool stuff to do with the phone. Um, the messaging is, uh, the messaging is, you know, the, the keyboard looks kind of small, but it's really panned out and the buttons click well, and it's actually a really nice style of texting. So, you know, everybody gets used to the the full quarter keyboard. It's kind of slow at first, but you kind of get the get the hang of it. Um, the only problem I have with the texting is if you notice, I have my messages. Now, if you click it, here's my inbox. The only way to get to the outbox is to go to menu. You have to scroll all the way down to folders, and then you have to click the folder you want. So if I were to go into outbox, um, to get back to my inbox, I would have to go menu, folder, and then outbox. And I, you know, I guess that's not a big deal, but um, it's kind of inconvenient when you're just, you know, want to delete all your messages or anything like that. It's got mobile email. Um, I'm cheap, so I don't have the email or internet services. So, um, but it's got Internet Explorer. Uh, when I did have the services, though, it is fast. Um, I needed the number to Domino's. And so went to dominoes.com on my phone, and it kind of gave me the number there. So that was a really sweet um, organizer. It's got a lot of good stuff, like alarms and calendars and pretty much everything you need. This phone has um, been really good to me. I really like it. I mean, it's got a nice little, you got your, your little circle thing here. <coughs> this actually replaced on the Blackjack 1. There was a little click wheel on the side of it, and this kind of got rid of that. And you have your, you know, your answer, your hang up button, which is also the lock button, your back key, then your menu selects key, and up here is your home button key. Boom, click that, brings you right back to the home menu. 
Um, so, you know, anything else I'm thinking about on this phone, it's really a nice phone. I would recommend it, you know, to anybody who wanted to get the Blackjack 2, especially, you know, if they're on, I got mine when it was on sale. And, um, it actually is a really nice phone. Um, you can change a lot with it, customize it how you want. The only, one of the other downfalls is, like, say for music, for instance, um, this, the speakers are not loud at all. Um, you can turn it up really high and the speakers are kind of loud, but, you know, it's got a music player on it. It's not meant to play music, but it has one on there, so I guess you can use the headphones and stuff. It's a little light up here. It's really nice because it kind of, like, lights up when you have a text message or when you have a phone call, so it's, uh, really convenient in that sense, but... Here's a volume switch. Well, it's not really a volume switch. If you look, I'll click it, and you see there, it says earpiece volume. So, you know, you think the earpiece is up here. So, it, this is pretty much like, not the volume of the phone in general, but the volume of, like, when you're on phone to hear the other person. So, it's not really like a, a volume, like a rocker switch would, or anyway. Like, when you're in the music, the volume is you spin the little wheel here. And it also clicks. So, yeah, um... The reason I'm reviewing this phone is because soon I'll be getting an LG View here in March, and I'm going to do kind of an unboxing review on that phone as well. So I kind of wanted to just review this phone, and um, if you have any questions about the Blackjack 2, I'd be more than happy to answer it, like how to put apps on there, like how to unlock your GPS and all that. So, um, yeah, so comment or do whatever you need, and I'll make sure to get back to you. So, 